Right, so we got myself the 9500. I did a review on this last year, and I got myself the 14 inch MacBook Pro. We're just going to do a quick comparison between both of these brilliant laptops. Well, I personally think that this is uh, brilliant. I'm biased, obviously, because I've got Apple stuff. Um, so this one is a 14 inch liquid retina XDR display. It's a 30 by 24 by 1964 at 254 ppi that's pretty good 1000 nits 1600 at the absolute peak I'm guessing that's with hdr and it has a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio with 1 billion colors p3 and the true tone on the this fantastic macbook screen let me just open these up for you guys So this one was 2000 when it was new and the MacBook was 1900. We've got both of these incredible computers right here. This has a 120 hertz. This is a 60 hertz. This is ProMotion. So that can go down to 47.95 hertz or 48 or 50, 59.94, or it can do 60 to match what your content is. That's the MacBook. The Dell, on the other hand, it's kind of stuck at the 60 because it doesn't have fast refresh rate screen. Um, the MacBook has a 70 watt hour battery, 11 hours on the web. This is according to Apple's um, statistics and testing. 17 hours on Apple TV for the MacBook. And if you go for the 16 inch, 21 hours on Apple TV, 14 hours on the web, and it has a 100 watt hour battery. So, you know, I got the 14 inch, but if you want to go for the 16 inch, then go ahead. Get a 67 watt brick in the box for this one to charge it up. I'm pretty sure this is 120. I'll put it on the screen if I'm incorrect. Um, the battery in here, I believe it's a ooh, 90 watt hour. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. I've got the notes on me right now. Um, so we're going to close this up real quick and show you the outside. So this one's the silver Dell logo on the top. And then you've got your two Thunderbolts on the left. I think that's a Kensington on the left as well. And then on the right, you've got your speaker grill at the bottom and one there. And then you've got yourself the another Thunderbolt. No, it's not Thunderbolt. That's not Thunderbolt. You've got your SD card slot and your headphone jack, 3.5 mm jack. You've got an LED light indicator at the bottom right here. It's not focusing. That's great. And then um, on the MacBook, you've got yourself Space Gray or the... Uh, silver version So on the MacBook on the left, you've got yourself Two Thunderbolt ports not four, actually USB 4 you've got your headphone jack on the left not the right You've got MagSafe, which is brilliant it has a green flashing light on it when it's fully charged or it has a orange one when it's not charged or charging When it's charging I'll show that in a b-roll clip up. right now and then on the right side You've got a SD card slot and you've got a Thunderbolt port. That one's not Thunderbolt. This one is. And you've got an HDMI port, but it's only 2.0. Kind of sucks a little bit. Um, yeah, but apart from that, it's pretty good. I prefer the design. It's more compact. Feels a little bit lighter. Um, and then when you open it up, right, you've got a lovely matte black keyboard. It's really nice. Uh, the trackpad is super smooth because obviously it's glass. Um, where the XPS, the XPS keyboard, it's a plastic kind of clicky thingy, but this one, this is a traditional kind of trackpad. This one is a force touch trackpad, so using Taptic motors from Apple. And I'm telling you, it feels like a proper click. I don't know how they're doing it, but they, they just do. Right, so the specs are on these two particular devices that I've got here. You're going to go onto the About Mac, and then you've got an overview section. So you've got the Mac OS. Uh, Monterey, pretty sure that's how I pronounce it, 12.1. You've got MacBook Pro 14 inch 21 edition. This chip in here, it's the Apple M1 Pro with 16 gigabytes of unified memory. 16 gigs, I should have gone for 32. I just could not afford it, it would have been an extra 400 quid. So, and then the display right there. Oh, wish it was 4K, but you know, it's good enough. I've got 512 gigabyte SSD, I've used half of it already, no idea how that's possible. <laughs> um, and then I'm thinking about getting the Apple Care Plus on this as well, guys. And if you want to go on the XPS 9500, consider it's a year old, it's actually doing all right. My dad actually uses this one at the moment and it's actually doing pretty good. Um, he uses it for his work, editing and stuff like that. 
and he just keeps it plugged in all the time. I tell him, well, you know, do whatever you like, it's yours now. This one's mine. I'm a great son, I didn't charge him for it. How nice, two grand, I just let him have it. Isn't that brilliant, thank you. Right, so I'm recording on the 14 inch MacBook Pro and using the microphones, this is in 1080p, I believe it's 30 FPS. What do you guys think of the video quality and the audio directly off the microphones? Tell me at the link below, no, not the link below, at the comments below. <laughs> If you want to go in to see what your specs are on your Dell, you go into Task Manager because there's Windows, prefer Mac OS, um, but I do prefer Windows for some stuff. Um, so you've got your CPU, you click on that. So this particular one is the i7-1075H, which is at 2.6 gigahertz. And then it goes all the way up to, I think, like five. So it's pretty fast, but I thought this was fast. And then I got my, I got this and I was like, whoa. What is going on? I just put in HEVC 4K stuff from my iPhone and just goes boom, right through it like nothing. And I'm like, blimey, I thought my Mac Mac Mini was good with M1 chip in it. This one, six, six cores. Let me just get my notes real quick. Yeah, so this, this right, it's got, wait one sec, one sec. Touch ID, I love it. Um, so this has six high power all out work kind of like cores, forgot what they're called, sorry. And then it's got two efficiency cores. If I'm wrong, I'll put that on the screen or you can just correct me in the comments below. And then I'm reading off my notes. I've put loads of effort into this as well, or like or something. Um, yeah, I'm loving this MacBook. It's kind of turned into a MacBook everything, isn't it? Because I've got all the notes on the MacBook, but nothing on the Dell. Because I don't use the Dell anymore. Wonder why, bugs, that's an example. Uh, yeah, so. And then you go into the memory. This has 16 gigabytes DDR4 stuff, not five. And then you've got a 512 gigabytes Hynex disk in there, SSD, not disk. And then the Wi Fi chip is, if it clicks on it, has a killer Wi Fi 6. So it's got Wi Fi 6. And then you can read that right there. And then on the GPU side, it's got integrated Intel stuff on that one. And then on the bottom one, it has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Ti. So it does have more performance, you could say, but you can't play games on here really anyway, like you can on Windows. So, you know, <laughs> advantage to Dell, I guess. But you're not really going to buy a Mac for gaming anyway, really. You're buying it for this thing called Final Cut Pro, which is what I use. And that's pretty much it. So, we've done a speaker test already. That's pretty good. The trackpad on this, it's... Well, it was great until I like started to use this Force Touch trackpad. Let's just say that. It was great till I used this. But it's decent. My dad just uses it with the... Oh, no HDMI. <laughs> USB-C. Uh, to HDMI, not HDMI. But yeah, this is a 15 inch screen, that's a 14 inch point two screen. Um, I do prefer the keyboard on the MacBook. It's a bit more clicky, for example. I don't know, it's just got a bit of, like, you know, push to it, like, I don't know, I just like it, it's nice. But this one's a bit mushy. But there's more travel on the Dell. There's more travel on the Dell, 100%. But this one's more clicky, but like soft as well, if you get what I mean. And I prefer the, the you know, the function row instead of the touch bar, I really do. So thank you Apple for doing that. The battery on this MacBook is just ridiculous. It's bonkers. I mean, it lasts for ages. I mean, I'm just an, I'm just an Apple fanboy, aren't I? Let's be real. And then, you know, I'm proud to say it. I'm proud to say it. The battery, I prefer everything being up here. It's just, I like Windows, but it's just, there's bugs in this system. And I don't get that on there. Well, Final Cut Pro crashes a few times, but apart from that, it's pretty good. I mean, it's perfect if you want to use Filmora and you want, you know, to play games on it as well and stuff like that. And you don't need Final Cut Pro, then yeah, go for this. Get your Spotify on there, do all that stuff. But if you want to use Apple Music, right? I mean, it just, it's just a Mac, iPhone, Apple Watch, iPad thing to have Apple Music. You can have Spotify, but yeah, still. But it's gone into any kind of comparison between everything now, so I'm gonna hold off for a bit. But yeah, speakers, they're pretty good on this. They're a bit nicer. The aesthetics, like, it looks nicer. 
I mean, it feels a lot more plush, I'm not gonna lie. This is really nice to type on, because it's not cold. So when you open your MacBook up in the morning, right, it's like freezing, because like this is all, this, it's aluminium, isn't it? Aluminium. Well, aluminium is the American color, but aluminium. And then, like, it's just cold, and then you've got to wait for it to heat up a bit, check the temperature, and then go, yeah, that, that's about right now. I can start typing, literally. Um, but yeah, but the problem is, though, it's so energy efficient, it takes forever for this to get warm. And so I'm, like, just coping with it being really cold all the time. But this is like, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> so, um, matte bezel on the top. I'm not a fan of that, I'm not going to lie. I do prefer the gloss screen because you get more colour out of that and stuff like that because this is limited. It, it helps with reflections, I know. It really does, for example. Let me just get the light real quick. Damn. Um, so, I, look at that, yeah? This is, these, I ain't got my diffuser things on these LED lights I'm using. Look at that, right? And then, look at this. I mean, you know, that's a matte screen. These are on full brightness. That's a pretty big difference, I'm not going to lie. I mean, even, even though it does have an anti-reflective coating on it, it's just a huge difference. I couldn't work like this, but I could work with this. So that is a benefit to have the Dell over the MacBook. But, I mean, I don't really like matte screens for that reason, because of the colours and stuff. And peace out. See you. Bye.